when married couples ask your advice, you may be in a position to give them right counsel. And married couples have a right to expect this from the doctors and nurses. All right, this is, this is Paul VI's call. Um, so the question is, why was this encyclical received so badly? We're going to go into a little bit of the history of that. If you haven't really heard this, it's, it's, I think it's interesting to go back to the, to the early days. Uh, did he write anything new? That's debatable. The opposition to birth control was not a new thing in the church. Right? It goes back quite a ways. I'm going to show that. Was hormonal contraception something fundamentally different? That was the big crux of it at the time. Um, a lot of people said, oh, this isn't like other, other contraception. So here's the structure of the rest of this talk. I'm going to talk a short history of chemical contraception. We're going to talk a little bit about the biology of fertility. We won't go into that too much. Otherwise, it'll be too science -y. The modern push for birth control, we'll talk a little bit about the history of that and the emphasis on hormonal uh, manipulation. And then we're going to talk about uh, the healthcare's responses to this today. The points of life, the organizational efforts, and, and I'm going to have finally finish it up with a testimony by Dr. Scapin. He was a doctor from Louvain uh, who spoke just last year at, at uh, the Augustinium, and it's a, it's a, he was there 